All right, guys, so I'm going to do this video here. Here's my new, uh, my new spool of solder. So, anyways, this isn't the point. Uh, this is my Ninja Turtles cabinet, and I'm going to do an experiment here. For anybody that doesn't know anything that's going on, I'm going to explain so... Well, so everybody knows what's going on here. So, in previous videos, I've had problems with this specific chassis right here. With uh, flickering of the screen and, and uh, uh, it being focused and then drift out of focus and then like snap right back into focus. So that is this chassis right here. I've just been testing it on my Ninja Turtles. So I changed the flyback guys and all those problems disappeared. So I'm gonna put this, take this chassis off and I am going to take and put it back in Miss Pac-Man and fire it up on camera and verify that it's it's still good on the other tube outside, if that makes sense. Now, I'm going to take the original chassis that was off this tube, four Ninja Turtles that I've had in all the videos that's been in here. I'm going to take the original flyback off that chassis, and it is an original one. And I'm going to put the flyback that was on this chassis that has the suspected flickering and focus issues. And then I'm going to put it on this tube and fire it up and see if those issues still carry on to the, onto the other chassis, if that makes sense. And if it does, I'm going to take it off of that chassis and put the original one back on and fire it up on camera and see that uh, that the issues go away. Now I suspect it's going to do that, but I would not be surprised. My luck, some way, somehow, that it would be just okay. That's why I am doing the experiment, because I just want to make sure that it's a flyback issue, and that's it. It's just a fun little experiment, guys. That's it. All right, you know what? <clears throat> All right, so I'm just going to if I get the camera all over the place, guys, I apologize. Now it had brought brought to my attention, and they're very good points that the focus issue could be the pin on the neck on on the uh, tube here or or the uh, holder down in here or cold solder joints on the neck board which are very fair points and I agree with those but this neck board looks pretty solid to me um, and if if one of these pins here or or the pin holder in here was bad I would suspect this flyback would be doing the focus drift and snapping back in. And that's not the case. So, alright. I'm going to take off this video connector here. And this this uh, remote board here is a is, uh, just an extra one I've had in the house. I believe the remote board is still out in the other cabinet. And there's the yoke disconnected. And then the Gauss coil disconnected. CRT ground disconnected. All right, guys, I gotta, I gotta get off here. Okay, hopefully it's a decent picture.
This is the chassis in question. New flyback. Was firing up good on my Ninja Turtles. Not new flyback because the other one was the original old one. It's a new flyback replacing the other new flyback. I don't want any confusion there, guys. So I'm going to hook up the um, horizontal and the vertical. Alright, the gallus coil. Perfect. Now I'm going to take the chassis, slide it up in here. Alright, and now I'm going to find the freaking bolt. Get it started. So the place that ain't going anywhere. Hooking up the video. Alright. I'm going to hook up the anode here. There was still a little bit of charge in the tube. Still scary every time. That's in there good. Okay. We're going to find CRT ground to the neck board. It's hooked up. The neck board is on. And we got power. So, CRT ground, the neck, the video, the yoke, the power, the anode, and the degauss coil is hooked up. Alright guys, so, oh, I knew I was missing one. And the boat board. Perfect. So I'm going to take you guys around to the front so I can put you on the uh, control panel. Or try to. Let's turn off this light. See how bad the tube is burned, guys. Alright. I'm going to go around and plug the machine in, and I'm going to try to come back around here with the remote board. Okay, so it's out of focus because I would imagine this is a different tube. But you see right now, solid still, stable image, nothing like it was before. So I'm going to let this tube run a few minutes, guys. And then I'm going to reset the focus. Well, I'll try, because I didn't bring my mirror with me.
But what I'm really worried about is this is a stable image right off the rip. None of that flickering bullshit. All right, holler when it's clean. Is that good? Well, wrong pot. Dumbass. Well, that's a lot sharper. Could it be sharper? Yeah, but it's not horrible. Um, so basically, I'm just going to let this run now. Let's, uh, the color looks way better on this screen than what it had, too. With that other flyback, that was all funky. Oh, yeah. I think the joystick needs a clean and anyways there we are the namco cabinet that was flickering until it warmed up not doing it right off the rip and whoever the dude was kept pestering me about the the uh, uh sink wire it's still on pin six buddy all right all right guys this here is the chassis that's been in the Ninja Turtles this whole time I've been working and you know anytime you've seen Ninja Turtles on this screen it's been this chassis as you can see it is an original flyback well original to me it's what was on it when I got this uh, monitor so I'm going to take this upstairs to my workbench and we are going to remove this flyback and put the flyback on that was giving me the fits on that Miss Pac-Man chassis we just put re-put back in the machine. That makes sense. But first, I must eat. All right, guys, welcome to the mess. So, this is the chassis from downstairs from the Ninja Turtles. You can see the flyback. Hopefully, it's in there. Well, I'll put it up there when I take it out. Look, there's rust right there. That's weird. Oh, that's, yeah, that's messed up. So, I'm going to have to take this neckboard pin out. Now, this here is the flyback that was giving me the fits on a, uh, uh, Miss Pac-Man. This is a new flyback that I put on that chassis when I recapped it. So we're going to take this original one off to test this flyback on this known like 100% we know that it was working perfectly fine. No questions about it, you know? Alright, so I just took the pin out. I plan on putting this fly back back in this chassis.
have to wick that a little bit. Those are like really fat pins. On the new flybacks, they're just little, uh, you know, little like, uh, what's it called? That one's pretty clean, it's this one. This guy should come out of there just like that. I'm hoping you guys can see everything. Okay, so here, original style flyback from 7400. I'll put it right here. This is the new flyback that I had in Miss Pac-Man that was giving me the fits. So, is it going to give me the fits in this chassis? I think it might. But since I said that, it probably won't. And it make me look like a dick. Which I'd be cool with, honestly. But then my next question would be, why? What's different between this chassis and the other chassis that makes it do that? That's what my question would be. So I've almost went through one pound of solder in about a year. I think it's a lot of cap kits. All right. Oh, I still gotta do the neck board. <clears throat> So this chassis, well, the remote board to this chassis is still up in the control panel of Turtles and I was using a different remote, an extra remote board for the other chassis that I had in there for testing. So the remote board for this is still up in the control panel untouched from when it had been running for turtles, if that makes sense. Come on. Ouch. So we'll get this wire connected. And then it's should be ready to put into the, the cabinet. All right, guys.
Let me get you down from up here. just looks bad, don't it? <laughs> it's so shiny, it looks bad. Uh, look, the, these are really good solder joints. I'm going to put this in the uh, turtle's cabinet now. Alright, hope that's recording. Here's the chassis. This chassis is a lot e er, a lot easier to hook everything up because I don't know, it's just easier. It's like right here. Okay, so here's the remote board. It's still up in the control panel untouched from when this exact chassis was running this game for me. So horizontal vertical remote board video CRT ground Whoop. Let's get this guy out of the way Here comes the anode cup Focus wire. That should be everything except for the degals and the power. Sorry, guys. Gonna spy on my foot, people. Sorry. I'm gonna turn off this. Uh... Wow, what is that? Cooking from the kitchen. Alright, so there we go. Ready, three, two, one, fire. High voltage went, heard it. Okay. 
I need to turn up the screen voltage. Focus because I don't know why. Okay. like, I don't know. It's really like wavy. Well, I'm going to get my mirror so I can focus it as clean as I can. There we go. I don't see a problem with it, guys, yet. Hmm. See? Well, I tell you, that would be my luck. All right, so I am going to I really wish you guys could see what I'm talking about. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I guess it makes me look like a liar pretty much. There is this waviness about it though. Oh well. I'm gonna let this flyback run for a while on here. If I ever notice anything, I will uh I noticed it ain't as wide as it was. Would a flyback do that? I mean this the only difference is is the flyback. And the um the remote board has not been touched. But anyways, I am going to 
uh, let this run a while, guys. If I notice anything, I'll come on and um, document it. If not, then it made me look like a fool. I don't know. I don't know what to say. What would the difference be between this chassis board and the last chassis board? that makes this flyback do what it was doing versus this one not doing it. But the other new one on the other chassis is fine just like this. What the hell? It, it makes no sense. But I'm looking at it, so I have no choice but to believe it because it's just what's happening right in front of my face. All right, guys. Probably nobody will watch this video, but if you do, thanks for watching, and, um, uh, you know, subscribe or whatever. If not, then don't. Hot pace.